Hi guys and welcome back to Coin Life. Today I have a little something special to show you. Today we're going to be having a look at the Hilo RTA, the 30mm RTA from Asylum Mods. Asylum Mods, they did bring us the original Sherman 30mm RTA and then we also had the 28mm Sherman RTA. This one is a little bit different, not, not massively different, but um, the the deck section is a little bit different the overall looks it it's very very similar um in in style but with some subtle differences it is it's a gorgeous looking rta i have this one at 74 watts the airflow is about halfway closed The flavor of this thing is excellent. Um, the build quality is excellent. It's, it's what we've come to expect from Asylum Mods. In it, I do have uh, some strawberry and watermelon from Misfits, as I just think that that juice in this tank, as with the original Sherman, it just, it it's beautiful. It's just perfection. So as of always, before I go into any more details, let's drop down and have an up close and personal tour around the Hilo RTA. Okay guys, so here we are with the Hilo 30mm RTA from Asylum Mods. Comes in this nice little tub. Um, you've got uh, the logos going on there. If we crack it open then have a look at the inside. We do get our little safety guidance. And we get a little bag of spares, so you get your Allen key, some spare terminal screws, some spare seals. We get the Hilo RTA. You also get a short bubble glass. You get a Ultim AFC ring to match your Ultim glass if you wish. You also get the short chimney if you want to shorten the look of the RTA itself. And then you also get an Ultim drip tip that has your Asylum mods engraved into the top. 810 fitment so if you have your 810 goon style tips they will also fit then have a look at this bad boy and it is gorgeous you've got it is so heavy you've got on the bottom there you do have your 510 pin and it is quite flush now they do have extended 510 pins I do have one on its way to me at present on the bottom you've got Hilo engraved, you've got the Asylum Mods logo and your serial number there. Your AFC ring then on the bottom. It does stop fully open and fully closed. It is nice and it's not too loose but it's, it's not too difficult to open and close it either. On the bottom you've got Hilo engraved in there on both sides. Then moving up you do have this Ultim sort of bubble glass on the top then you've got this chunky chunky top cap so if you unscrew that top cap just like that it is a weighty bit of metal indeed but those threads are so so smooth it's so easy to open and close that it's unbelievable um, it's probably the nicest threads I've seen on an RTA so far. So if we remove the drip tip then you see it is stainless steel. You do have this sort of um, black coating going on. Now normally I don't like to use metal drip tips but I have to say this one has been quite comfortable. It doesn't get um, too hot at all. You can see there you do have Asylum mods engraved onto the drip tip as well. If you wanted to use the Ultim one just pop the Ultim one in like that and 
I've just been using it with the standard one that comes pre-installed. Um, having a look then on the inside you do have deep threading here for the top cap and you've got nice big juice filling ports either side and you notice on the top of the chimney it does sort of protrude and you've got these holes either side and what that is designed to do is when you screw on this now I've noticed this with other tanks as you screw on you're creating a pressure buildup which can sometimes flood the deck these little holes are designed to stop that pressure buildup as you're screwing the top cap down and stop flooding the deck so if we unscrew then the deck from the tank and we'll just have a look closer at that chimney pop off that glass you can see then we do have the logo going on there that we've seen on the previous tanks as well it is all one piece your chimney on the inside there and then if we have a look at the build deck so the first thing you notice on this is that the airflow is similar to the previous tanks from Asylum Mods but the post system is different so you've got these it's a two post design but rather than having the clamp system that we've previously seen you do have these Allen key group screws that come down and clamp the legs of your coils and it is nice to build on this deck I have to say you've got nice big cotton wicking ports either side that come down so that when your chimney screws down and you can see your juice ports all around there but no wicking issues with this at all obviously you've got to get it right you've got to have enough cotton in there that is going to soak up all the juice and not have the deck flood on you and have it leaking down through those airflow holes so putting it all back together then and we can have a look at the different asylum mods tanks all side by side so you can see we've got the original Sherman here it's a similar size to the Sherman and then we also have the 28mm Sherman there as well as you can see there is a lot of similarities going on however the build decks themselves so if we have a look just at the build decks so there's all three build decks together you can see the airflow it has changed slightly it's more like a a triangle whereas this it was sort of curved edges to it but you can see the post design has completely changed um, from your clamp style to these group screw, group screw posts but other than that there is a lot of similarities going across the board with your airflow um, obviously when we got the 28mm Sherman these three holes disappeared and we were just left with the slots no big deal I've had no issues no whistling no nothing it's been really really nice to use so what we'll do is we'll just get a couple of coils in this one and uh, we'll get it all wicked up okay so in the last few minutes I have just received the extended 510 pin for the helo so what I'll do is I'll get that popped in there now just unscrew the old one so we just pop that one out there she goes and then get the extended one pop that one in make sure our post is in place get our screwdriver and then just screw that one in Sure it's in there tight and there we can see we do have it protruding a little bit more I'm a lot happier with that brilliant so we get our coils in here now okay so there we have the coils in the helo they are a three and a half mil inner diameter just because the 
cotton well there is just so big um, I wanted to have sufficient cotton to fill that without having any um, risk of flooding the deck but we'll just um, give these a little test fire make sure they're glowing all nice and evenly get rid of any hot spots there may be This one a little bit of a, a pinch together. There we go, that will do absolutely fine. It's all ready then just to get some cotton. Okay, so there we go, we've got our coils all cottoned up that's how I tend to wick it I'll just fix just that a little bit there just make it a little bit neater Turn that down what you need to make sure is you've got plenty of cotton down in those channels but not too much that you you're gonna create a choke point so let's get some juice on there just get that all ready to rock and roll Give it a little test fire. Perfect. Just the top cap. Pop that on. it's ready to fill up on through those sweet threads on this I have to say it's awesome juice I am filling up also is the Misfits strawberry and watermelon just because it is one of my all-time favorite flavors and it tastes so good in this tank I've run this juice in the Sherman and also in the Sherman 28 mil go <coughs> pop a top cap back on screw that down open up our airflow and that's it for the Hilo 30mm RTA from Asylum Mods okay guys so that was the up close and personal tour around the Hilo RTA now I'm assuming that this as with the uh, original Sherman and the 28mm Sherman um, are manufactured in China now for something that comes out of China the build quality of this is exceptional it's a massive massive um, piece of metal and it's machined so well um, they, they really have gone all out on this one um, that little difference on the top cap as you saw um, the way the top cap screws down and you have that little piece just to let the air escape so you don't have that pressure build up as previously with the um, the original Sherman what um, the best way of filling that up was to fill it up fill it up and then when you pop the top cap on it's just to put it one turn then flip it upside down and screw it in the rest of the way just to stop that pressure build up and stop it from flooding the deck. 
uh, with this one I've had no issues with leaking um, you just simply close off the airflow open the top cap grab your bottle of juice we'll fill it up get the tank all full of juice and then grab our top cap again pop it on and that little piece on the top of the chimney is going to stop any flooding and we've no leaking at all vapes great this thing wicks like a dream as long as uh, like like I showed you in the build there it is a 3.5 mil inner diameter coil just so you have enough cotton there to really stuff those um, juice wells so that there's no chance of any leaking if you don't put enough cotton in this thing it will leak it will it's not forgiving in that way at all but this thing this it's awesome awesome if you like your big 30 mil RTAs like myself I do one of my favorites is the Modfather RTA and um, then obviously the original Sherman I love it and um, this one is for you if you prefer your small dinky little tanks unfortunately it's not going to be the one for you however this tank price wise it's a little bit more expensive than your everyday run of the mill RTAs um, I think if you can get your hands on one of these in the UK they're going around about £80 in the, U in the US I think I've seen them for around about $90 but then there's other sites I've seen them as much as $140 it, it, for an RTA run of the mill every day it is a little bit expensive for a high end RTA it is on the cheap side and um, so it, 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 it hits the market right bang in the middle I think and um, but if you do get your hands on one of these the, the quality is there it is really really high quality RTA the airflow on it if you open it up all the way it's just a, like taking a lung full of air it's it's you'll see it's unbelievably cloudy that's why I run it about halfway closed I think that's perfect 74 watts for me is the sweet spot As I said, wicking like a dream. It no dry hits whatsoever have I had off this. Um, as long as you put enough cotton in there, no leaking. The flavor is just on point. It really is fantastic, all around value for money. Definitely, um, I do believe there's m plans for an RDA, a Hilo RDA, just to go with the Sherman RTA and RDAs as well. Um, I will probably get my hands on the RDA. Um, one thing I didn't really like about the build deck is the post design. Um, I prefer the clamp style system of the original Sherman and the 28mm Sherman. This one is a little bit more fiddly to try and get your coils in there and both of them under that one screw. Not impossible. Um, I'm not very difficult and um, it is it is still easy to, to build on um, but if you want to get your hands on one of these I will pop a couple of links in the description below uh, but from me that's all I've got time for thank you guys as always so much for watching and if you haven't already done so please do hit that subscribe button below and we'll catch you again soon